Greens everyone, the good Sir Knight here, and today we have a video of, well, I wouldn't say no significant importance, but just a few things. I've been fiddling around with a lot of stuff and just kind of goofing around and finding some cool chicks and trips. Also, my Glock 17 came in. I'll do a proper review on it at some point, but yeah, Tokyo Motor Glock 17. Too large for the 17 slides, uh, or the 17 Safari Land holster, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to get a uh, Glock 21, I believe they said, since it was a 45, the slide was naturally larger on it, so that should compensate for that. And we've got a little grippy thing here. So, grippy thing, because we're just gonna we're just gonna go on. This is gonna be a train of thought. So grippy thing here gives you kind of like a little C grip sort of setup. I don't really know how to describe it, but it does give you a little bit of uh, lower thing with your lower left or er, left pinky. You can actually kind of push down and into it. So probably good for recoil if it was an airsoft or like like more IRL stuff. It just kind of screws in here to this little back thing. I got tan because I'm going to change the bottom, the lower out of tan at some point, but it gives you a little cool little C-grip thing. It actually gives you, um, it kind of, it feels like it naturally just centers the gun better, so when you start popping in, you really get the sights aligned a lot quicker, which is just something cool, I thought, so. That's just a nifty little thing, Glock 17. And, uh, I also got two extra mags for it, so. That's cool, I don't have a nice mag pouch just yet, per se. I'm gonna go ahead and get the. I'm gonna swap out a lot of my gear with S Tac, so S Tac Kiwis, Kiwis. Kiwis sound tastier if you ask me, so we're gonna call them Kiwis. I'm gonna get these, put them on the uh, double pistol belt one. Those are gonna mount back here towards the left tip. I don't know how far back I'm gonna put them, but wherever's comfortable, I'm gonna set two magazines there on my belt. I don't run a battle belt or a secondary pistol belt. And I know a lot of people, particularly Mythic, like to run all about that, but basically I don't use a handgun that much to begin with, so the fact that I have a holster at all is mostly because I've been trying to get into more CQB and doing weird twisty maneuvers with the rifle, although fun if you can have a faster, more efficient way, and I'm probably not going to burn through 25 BBs at any time soon anyway, because that's how much these standard mags hold, so nice little handgun to give a nice little backup sort of roll, so other trick I've learned, as I have a fun little secret down there we're gonna talk, we talked about, is um, I also have the two-point uh, sling position. I finally went ahead, and I'm sure a lot of you people, a lot of people already knew this, but me not know the things I don't. Um, I was running my rat tail remote switch over here on the left side, and it was nice, but whenever aiming in or whatnot and trying to get into a target, my thumb would naturally rest on it. And I don't want to accidentally press it on accident. So initially, back when I was running the MP7 A2, modified the lower rail, I had my little bit of a was it Velcro down here, and I just attach it directly to that. And that was for a laser pointer, though, because I was calling out bunkers and stuff. And uh, yeah, that was similar issue, although I could shoot up here and it'd be clipped down here. It wasn't bad, but... And praise be to Chris Costa is what this is going to come down to, is you put the thumb over the rail for that cool extra recoil control, although that'd be up here, wouldn't it? But if you take that, all I have to do is just... I'll have this open first, but if I'm going into a building where it's dark out, I'm like, okay, I don't see anything. I'm going to flash. I should call that in on the radio real quick. And then you go... And hey, look! We can check real quick and then we can go right back to shooting. Or I could lock something down on a target. And what's even cool is if we do go back to the old school, hey, I think there's someone in that bunker. Uh, could you verify which bunker, please? And it's like, uh, lazing target. Pew, wee, 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 wee. That's the sound a laser pointer makes. Don't ask me. Don't at me on Twitter. So yeah, so cool little options there. Don't point a laser pointer in someone's eyes. Unless it's actual combat. If you're doing airsoft, then please do not. Otherwise, life or death situation by all means. Unless it's a camera. I'll show it a little name. So yeah, so that's just another cool thing I learned. I could put this up here and solve a ton of problems. So if you didn't already know that, then hey, congratulations. Now you know. Maybe I made your life that much easier. And um, additionally, that was the other thing I was going to go on. Yeah, so... I think I mentioned this prior. This is a fun little trick that I actually learned from Garan Thumb, or AK as everyone wants to refer to him as Papa Thumb or Daddy Thumb, or lots of interesting things that you can basically, with your B5 
um, stock, retractable stock stuff, you can just put this down through here on the lower, and that'll actually give you an easier ease of transition. Well, I'm gonna actually have to move this back to here because I have this too tight and I cut it like an idiot. So we move that down to here. What that basically allows you to do is very rapidly left transition and it'll naturally pull that up over the shoulder and it won't choke you as I had used to have it up here. It, one, it would roll around and two, it always end up on your neck somehow. And uh, yeah, um, getting choked in the middle of a firefight is not super happy fun time. Other trick, particularly if you're running a uh, SR16 or something similar, you just have two, uh, two different sling mounts is if you do it closer to the magazine weld for slinging your weapon, if you're one of those people who believe in slings, as opposed to apparently a bunch of people who are just like, take the sling off the gun, you're just playing an air shot. Well, maybe I like my sling. How about that? There's no need to wear armor either, but it's a bit of extra exercise. Tangent aside, if you put it close towards the uh, magazine well, that's very easy to transition. It gives you a lot of uh, free room to work with. If we just put that over the neck, there we go. Pop, 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 pop. Doesn't really get in the way of reloads. You can reload either side of it. And it's nifty. Now, where it's not going to play a huge role airsoft-wise, but more so in the fact of you're going with a rifle that shoots 500 meters as opposed to 50 meters on a good day, you would move it up to here. Now what's great is you can move it between the two, so if you're going to go do CQB, instead of just taking your sling off, you can just rotate it up to here. If you put it up towards there, and you sight that in, now you've got this fun little option of restricting your left and right lateral movement, and then everything's vertical based on how far you're shooting. This is even without a uh, proper brace for the, um, the shooting stance or anything, but that just gives you a cool little sighted in shooting ability. So if you're engaging target at, targets at range, Definitely a huge boon. Now, not doing a lot of sniping or DMR work, but if I wanted to, I like to have the option. So, eh. Well, that's also gonna probably require 25 gram, or 0.25 gram BBs, because the uh, 0.20s doesn't have the best accuracy. Cool, but not the greatest accuracy ever. So, other fun stuff I've learned that I wanted to share with you guys. So hopefully this stuff helps you. Don't uh, spend all your Fun your free time and money. Sit that way. Do what I tell you. All your free time and money just trying to figure these things out. And if you're wondering about the hat, yeah, my uh, barber didn't really get the concept of taper slash fade, and I've got a super motarded poke haircut, so. Okay, up next. For the plate carrier, I did get my new uh, proper Coyote Brown one. I don't think I ever brought this up in video or not. It's been a while since I filmed. I've been between a fever, a thrown out back, and a uh, few other illnesses in the new future, but proper guy brown. Plan is to swap out these sexy warrior salt systems uh, magazines with a, uh, what's it called, a shingle for um, Estac Kiwis. Kiwis. Delicious, delicious Kiwis. Yet again, although instead of, this would be closer to the tall length, this is closer to the, these two down here would be closer to the short length, we're going to go for a nice middle length, which is going to give us uh, better retention of the shorts, so they're not going to flop around, but they're also not going to be like talls where I'm actually fighting against material to try to get the mags out. And it also means no bungees. And additionally, we're not going to go with the PALS webbing. We're going to go naked, aka commando, up on the front. So it's going to be nice and slick and sexy with less things to catch and cool magazines. And we might, we just might go with an admin pouch, undecided. But what I did do is I went back to my older setup from earlier this year. Just a radio over here. You know, I used to have a very nice Motorola radio pouch, but um, some, I ended up leaving it in a field because I lent it to someone for a grenade launcher that, or a little hand cannon I used to have, and then they went off and they did their thing with it. And uh, yeah, I don't know, it's, someone's got it. I'm hunting them down because, although this is more for like a little chest mic or a small backpack mic or radio pouch, I'd rather have my fuller padded Motorola because this would sit a bit more comfortably and give me more room to do stuff and I could fit Twinkies in there So that was also the purpose of the admin pouch cover it with Twinkies then met IFAC over here with tourniquet mounted to it out of the way of the handgun and back here we have our uh, Twin needle mini assault or mini map pack and on the sides I actually put some uh, eagle smoke grenade pouches They're just holding my frags because I'm generally not going to be 
uh, throwing too many frags because I can have a polar star and pulling the trigger is more fun than trying to get a grenade off, but I can, if hard pressed, reach back and free a grenade with some effort. I at one point had a little open top green pouch thing. I used to run a thunder bee in there. What I did was I ran 550 cord around the neck of the thunder bee and had it basically run up the top here and I had a little D ring. Was up to the top? I think it was this side. I had a little D ring that the little uh, 550 cord was tied into. I uh, popped the D ring, pulled the cord, and I could basically just pink an instant fucking Thunder Bee, which was kind of cool. And I've got smoke grenade pouches. This is mostly going to be for the uh, uh, tank for the Polar Star, anyway. But yeah, so that's a cool thing. And with a lot of the gear I was selling at the field, since I had the prices significantly reduced from, well, the ones that were used and whatnot. But basically, anyone who was, who was looking upon it, with the exception of a few people, were like, I'd buy that for a dollar. So I went ahead and I got a bunch of the other guys like, you know what? It's not going to sell, at least not for more than like Manga Soka prices. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this gear. We're going to see what we can do with it. So what I ended up doing was using my old LBT-6094 uh, plate carrier. I went ahead, I mounted a bunch of stuff on it, and basically I made a kit for my buddy, uh, Mr. Fox, who is back in the States. He was supposed to play last time, but we had an issue of improper footwear, so we kind of gave up and ate taco rice on the beach, which was absolutely brilliant. But basically, got LBT magazine shingles, a little 511 shotgun shell holder. This is going to be mostly for the hell of it. There's an admin pouch up here, again, for Twinkies and uh, Twix, all forms of candy bars. Mostly Skittles, though. Skittles don't melt. That's the secret there. This actually sits nicely above these. Um, there's a little sock eye pack over here that's full of, like, three items that are very, very bulky and don't really do anything. I gave him my old short LBT um, hydro pack here, which is kind of cool. I put two magazine pouches here, Tactical Taylor uh, 308 AK-47 mag pouches. This is basically to give my buddy Mr. Fox the ability to carry extra ammo for everyone. So I've got two smoke grenades. I have a thing where I really like back panels to carry stuff that furthers the team's ability. So if I burn through two mags or someone needs to restock on mags, we could come up behind my good buddy, Mr. Fox here, pop one of these open, grab some mags, reload, and uh, politely clip that back down so he doesn't make a bunch of noise from this going blah, 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 blah. Eh. Because that would be incredibly frustrating. So, it's a cool little option to make him a, a more viable asset. And there's two uh, the old school 511 pouches. These are already in uh, tan, so they blend in better. But if he had a handgun, these would be nice to run with. So yeah, I gave him a nice little setup. Made entirely out of gear I'm not using, so... Ugh, that was just a fun little thing I worked on on the side. And that's, um... Yeah, it's most of the stuff I'm out to outside of being sick and finally getting back into exercise now, and uh, yeah, I'm doing absolutely terrible. It's not good, not good to super happy fun times. There's going to be a lot more of a sweat and pain in the near future. But yeah, so, some cool stuff, some cool plans for the future. That Coyote Brown's going to blend in better, get some extra mag pouches for a handgun I'm never going to use, so honestly, the extra handgun magazine pouches could probably just sit on the back burner. The... Kiwis are going to be pretty cool, and we'll probably try to get ourselves a better, uh, what should we call it, airframe in the near future. We got a pretty good one. We'll see if we can get something else. So yeah, that's more or less all I've been up to. Not a whole lot of that in work and finally getting a car so I don't go around on a little scooter. Scooter was sufficient for a good deal of time, but at some point I need to adult properly. Oh, and uh, as one of my commenters mentioned, there's the... Samurai Champloo poster back. I should actually go rewatch through that. It's really good. And, you know, Cowboy Bebop on the stock. I'll go find some uh, other things to add up to the wall. There's a bunch of stuff over here, but I'm only going to let this channel go so weeaboo because Italian longsword is exponentially greater than Katana. Again, don't at me on Twitter. Actually, don't do too many things with me on Twitter. I'm mostly just going to post obnoxious things. Or I'm going to like wake up at 2 in the morning and be like, huh, that's funny. So yeah. Um, 
And yeah, apparently the greatest thing you could dress up for is Halloween is going to be a AR-15, because apparently that's the scariest thing in the entire world now. Not terrorists, not criminals, not robbers, not murderers, not rapists, not various rappers, um, not hobos. Uh, yeah, none of those things. No, no, no. They can have knives or anything they want. That's, it's whatever. Handguns, <laughs> whatever. AR-15, people freak out, so that's my, um, how long do you think it would take to make an AR-15 costume? I mean, I'd do it, but I don't know. So yeah, that's, uh, just some fun stuff I've been playing around with. What are we at? We're at, uh, almost 16 minutes. So yeah, we'll go ahead. We'll call that a video. Hope you guys enjoyed my nonsensical train of thought ramblings. There's some cool things I've been going around about, and, uh, off camera there's a sea bag with a surround sound system i really just need like two little speakers it's way too much and i'm in tiny japanese apartment so someone please take this away i need it gone i'm probably gonna get rid of the xbox and tv and stuff too go pc gaming master race so yeah that's all I have for you guys cheers station Lewis, and uh this is for a barber battle that i wasn't even part of but i got a shirt so cheers